In 2007, Panasonic adopted a video codec called AVC Intra, and it was the first production format that used H.264 for professional video applications. It was a codec that provided excellent picture quality with higher compression efficiency, with the potential to save around 50% over the conventional codec schemes at the time. A few years later, the evolution of this technology gave us AVC Ultra as an advancement to the Intra codec, and at NAB 2012, Panasonic demonstrated offerings of 2 and 4K resolution at 12-bit, 444 and 400 megabits per second. It was assumed at the time that the idea behind the development of these codecs was to be able to bypass the need for a raw workflow and a true 4K image in a high quality compressed format. And so what happened? And why now the push towards external raw recording? In June 2022, they gave us the GH6, the long awaited successor to the much loved GH5. The GH6 now gives us internal ProRes recording at more or less 6K but the file sizes are massive. And to put things into perspective, 24 frames per second ProRes 422 HQ and 4K 12-bit 444 AVC Ultra are more or less the same size at around 800 megabits per second. Why would Panasonic then choose to give us ProRes when they themselves have a codec with a higher bit rate, half the file size, and well within the capabilities of the newly adopted CFAS Express standard? and all new Macs now have dedicated video recorders, which makes a need for a ProRes codec for smooth editing kind of unnecessary. And would anyone still bother to record RAW externally when you can access 12-bit and a single, less cumbersome package? The GH5 and 10-bit internal recording was what allowed me to move away from external recording, and the need for HDMI cables, another set of batteries, and the additional weight. Why would Panasonic make gear that promotes another company's codec and hardware when they themselves have over a thousand active patents for their own codec? On top of that, the available codecs are somewhat of a mixed bag because there's no ProRes for UHD. And for that, we're back at shooting AVC at 800 megabits per second. So they might as well give us the 12-bit 444. Or is that only reserved for their Vericam lineup? I guess all I'm really asking is for Panasonic to maybe get back to their way of doing things with Panasonic tried and tested technology. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.